Welcome. Welcome students. Thank you for joining me today. We're going to be talking about the module three discussion board. So this uh, discussion board focuses us on an issue of your choosing. That's an issue that touches on sustainability and social justice. The discussion board assignment asks us to identify an article on a sustainability issue that relates to social justice or DEI from the CQ researcher that's inside the Shapiro Library. So my goal for this really quick video is to share a few tips with you about this week's discussion board assignment. We're gonna begin by looking at the CQ researcher, then we'll review each component of the discussion board assignment, and we're gonna wrap up with taking a look at the grading rubric. So let's get started by taking a look at the CQ researcher. Um, you're going to be finding an article that's related to sustainability and social and or social justice in the Shapiro Library CQ Researcher. There is a link to the CQ Researcher that's located at the bottom of the resources section on your learning materials page. So scroll all the way down to the bottom. There's optional resources there, and that's where you're going to find the link to the CQ Researcher tool. So in that tool, you can type in a few words that describe the sustainability issue that you're looking for, and then look over the results, find an article that interests you. Well, the idea here is that you're going to take a few minutes to really explore that researcher tool, because this won't be the only time you're going to use that tool. I'm, I'm pretty sure of that. It's a really great tool. So you really want to take a couple of minutes to go ahead and explore around and just see what it does. But for this assignment, you want to identify that uh, one article that interests you about a topic related to the connections between sustainability and social justice. Should be pretty easy to do. Lots to choose from there. Okay. So let's now take a look at the assignment itself. Um, as I mentioned at the start of the video, we're going to focus this week's assignment on social justice, really specifically. I like to frame this assignment as focusing on how creating fair and equitable systems leads to a more sustainable world for everyone. So for your initial post, you wanna share the resource that you found in the CQ researcher tool. And as you do, you wanna expand out on why that issue is a sustainability concern and how that issue ties into social justice. Well, this gives you a chance to build on that working definition that you've been building on for sustainability by connecting it to social justice. Then you're gonna discuss the conflict that makes the issue a really challenging one to address. So you'll do this through connecting it to examples. My guess is that the article that you choose is going to be filled with kind of case study examples, and that's what you're gonna to wanna to build the connection between what you know about sustainability, social justice, and how those two really connect with each other in this case. So please make sure you look back over the prompts or look back over this video again before you post that first post. Okay, let's think about your um, two response post here. Remember that you are making those two response posts. Here are a couple of things that I really want you to think about as you're drafting those response posts. So you wanna be sure that you're focusing your response posts on the conflict the original post described. So when you choose a post to reply to, what was their article about and what's the conflict that they're describing there? And focus those responses specifically on that. Make sure you're telling the reader if you agree or you disagree with the stance that's taken by that original post. And it's absolutely okay in this case, many cases, almost all cases in fact, to either agree or disagree. Um, it's important that we have that dialogue, we have that conversation, and if you're disagreeing or you're agreeing, you need to make sure that you're using evidence to support your thesis statement there, okay? So next, you wanna consider the impact that solving the conflict might have. How might we reach a resolution? And there's a great place to start here. You can tie in what you learned in the readings about conflict resolution, specifically in this instance, okay? And then finally, what would change? If this issue was resolved, what would change? How would it foster equity? What else would change? Okay, so I want you to take some time and do a bit of connection building between the readings and the videos so that you can really make the most of the opportunity you have here 
to discuss the issue that you are replying to. Should be interesting. I'm excited to see those posts. All right, let's take a look at the discussion board rubric. By now, this is the third time you've seen this rubric. It should be becoming familiar to you. The rows on the rubric, those four rows, comprehension, timeliness, engagement, and writing, they're the same rows, but now we are applying them to this specific discussion board assignment. So let's think about how for each of the rows will we apply them. So for comprehension, ask yourself, did you provide detailed examples of why the issue is a sustainability concern and what the conflict is that makes it a challenging issue. Then for timeliness, really simply put, did you make your first post be before the Thursday night deadline? Please make sure that you're doing that. And as always, make those posts earlier. It's really great to be able to have extended conversations and engagement with others in the discussion board. It's a great opportunity for us to apply what we're learning, practice communication skills, and hey, that's why we're all here, right? Okay on engagement, that third row down, this really focuses on the response posts. And here you might ask yourself, did readers of my response post easily grasp what my ideas were about how the conflict might be resolved? Did I expand on conflict resolution or restorative justice processes and the impacts that they might have? And then finally on the writing row, um, you're working on communicating clearly and concisely. Are your posts clear? Did you take the time to draft that post before you posted it? Now, I had someone tell me in an email a couple of days ago that they were trying to make their post and they kept dropping their internet. So they kept having to rewrite it. And here's a suggestion. Don't write it on the post screen. Write it in a document, a Word document, a Google Doc. Write it someplace else have it all ready to go, then when you're ready to post, all you've got to do is copy paste. And if your internet drops, it's okay. You just copy paste again. Okay. Hope that's helpful. All right. Thank you so much for joining me for this module three discussion board discussion. I hope these tips are really helpful for you. Please let me know if they are. Please let me know if you'd like me to give you some additional information and what that might be to help you. As always, I'm here to answer your questions and to support you. Please reach out if you need me. All right, looking forward to this discussion board. Have a great time with it. Thanks very much.